eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. Ellen LaQuatra now in the control room with more on why the statistic has doctors urging women to get an annual mammogram screening. Elena. Jill, I'll also be sharing a story about one local woman who says that her mammogram screening saved her life. Diana Bull, like most of us, lives a busy life. Letting time get away, she skipped her mammogram screening for two years until her family doctor urged her to get checked. The results of her mammogram showing a suspicious mass. Diana underwent an ultrasound guided biopsy, and just days later, she received a call. The minute Dr. Thomas called me and said it was cancer, and I know it was hard for her to call. I've just come to realize there's, there's no good time to, to let someone know you know, that news. Stage one breast cancer, hiding inside of a duct, which would not have been felt through self-examination. My uh, attitude was, this is a bump in the road and I'm going to take care of it. Diana was lucky. The cancer did not spread. That's not the case for all women, though. Cancer can quickly metastasize, spreading to other parts of the body. Doctors are advocating for annual mammogram screenings beginning at age 40. We can detect a cancer if it is there at an earlier stage, um, when it's smaller um, and a less invasive treatment can be performed. And since the risk of breast cancer increases with age, no age is too old to be checked. Diana underwent 10 rounds of radiation, completing her treatment just a couple of weeks ago. As a mother of two daughters and a grandmother of a newborn baby girl, her outlook on annual checkups has changed. It's so important, so important not to let that mammogram go by. Dr. Thomas also says that by age 25, women should have an annual clinical breast exam performed by their primary care physicians. Jill. It's so important, Elena. Thank you for sharing that information.